Hey, welcome back guys on the third video of the series on getting started with Reloadly. I am Junaid Maksud and let's jump right into it. Previously, we talked about countries, how they are supported by the system and successfully created a simple application to show a list of all the countries and show detail for each country by simply clicking on it. Please, if you haven't yet, do watch the previous video as this will extend to it. Today, we'll be adding more features to the same application that we developed. We will be discussing the operator's endpoint deeply. We will look at various ways of finding operators that are supported at, by the platform. We will also look at a neat way to automatically find the operator for any given number. Operator's knowledge is important to us because we will need this information to request a top-up. Each phone number is registered via operator which we will be sending to the top-up request to the Reloadly platform. The Reloadly platform makes it easy as it gives us the same call for all operators around the world. We do not need to individually study every operator. We simply call the Reloadly post API for the top-up and provide it with the operator ID and that's it. Just to recap, I am still on the same environment. We are using Docker and we've created a simple PHP container and we previously created a simple application that gives us hello world on the homepage. We will be coming back to it. And we created a simple countries page. When you click on it, it gives you a complete list of all the countries that are supported by the platform. And if you click on any individual country, it will give you details of that country. Like the ISO name, the name of the country, the currency code, that currency name, symbol, flag, and the calling code of that country. I've just changed the UI of the country page a bit to get it more organized. The plan for today is to extend this application. First of all, we're going to add a new page for operators and we're going to show a list of all the operators that are supported by the platform. Next, we're going to do the same thing that we did with the countries. We're going to create a separate page for each operator. And and show all the detail of that operator. We are also going to extend the country page and add all the operators that are supported within that country. The last thing we're gonna do in this video is add a simple text field on the home page where the user can enter the phone number and the system will automatically create an API call to the Reloadly platform to get the operator for that phone number. Before jumping right into development, let's quickly switch to the documentation and see which nodes are provided within the operator's endpoint. So we have the operator's endpoint where you can make a GET request and get all the operators that are supported within the platform. We have operator by ID for phone and we can get the FX rate for the operators. We can also get operators by ISO. These are all the operators that are within a specific country. Now let's start with creating a page for the operators. Let's quickly copy the country's page and rename it to operators. We will simply change the endpoint here and make some adjustment to the code. So if you look at the documentation, the operator gives us the operator ID, the name of the operator and a bunch of other information. So for the operator list, what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to show the name of the operator and then in a bracket, I'm going to show the currency code that is supported by the operator. Now let's add this page to the header of this application. and give our website a simple refresh. Now we have the operators page here. Let's click on it to see if everything's working just fine or not. Let's give our operators a bit more room. So there we go. We have a complete list of all the operators that are supported. Now if we head back to the documentation and check out the response parameters, we can see that as there are a, a lot of operators that are supported by the Reloadly platform, what the API system does, it, it automatically creates pages for the result. So we should be getting the result in multiple pages and by default the size is 200. So right now what we're getting are 200 operators that are supported. Let's quickly add simple pagination to our application. So what I'm going to do is get the page from the get variable. And if the page is not defined, 
we're simply gonna show the first page let's append that here and we're gonna keep the size to be 200 which is the default you don't have to specify that let's append the page here now below all the results I'm gonna create a new div give it some margin top and simply create a button for every page that we have let's try that let's let's adjust some styling on this now we have basic pagination to move around the pages let's quickly create a page for each operator so we're gonna simply create a reference to operator and send in the ID now let's create a copy of our country page call it operator and here instead of ISO we're getting the ID yes the ID so let's get that and switch the endpoints now let's check out the operator by ID endpoint so we're getting a bunch of this information for each operator let's quickly add all of this in a simple table format let's give our app a refresh and see if everything's working fine or not so we can now click on any operator let's do that and you can see we have a bunch of information about that operator like the ID the name what type of currency that operator supports the commission percentage that we have for international discount the commission for the local discount so one thing to note here is that the denomination type which is range now some operators support a range transaction like for example you can send top up to the phone number of this operator in the range of the minimum is five euros and the maximum is hundred so anything between five and one is supported by this operator so a lot of operators don't support range they support fixed values and if that is the case then the fixed value are gonna be presented in this array let me quickly find an operator that support fixed value instead of range so this operator 624 of Colombia supports fixed denomination type which means that instead of minimum and maximum value the API is gonna give us fixed amounts these are the only amounts that you can send for top up on the phone numbers that are of this operator now the api does also gives us a neat logo that we can use on our website to say that okay we are supported by these operators now let's quickly proceed with the next task which is to extend the country page and add a list of all operators within that country now let's quickly make another request after we get the country to the operator by ISO endpoint now that we have the operators let's add a new row below the table and show all operators here now let's check to see if we're getting the operators for our country nice so we're getting all operators for this country let's quickly add a simple heading on top of this as well as the page great so we have the country description and a bunch of operators now as we've copied the 
code from the operators to here we can simply click on any operator here and it will also take us to the same operator description page awesome so we're left with just one task so now what's left where we want to go to home and have a simple text field here where the user will enter their phone number and the system will automatically detect the operator for that so in order to get that working let's head back to our index page and instead of hello world we're simply gonna say reloadly youtube Now below this we're gonna add a simple bootstrap form to get the phone number. Let's see how that looks like. Okay, so we have a field for phone number and a simple button to submit. Now what I want to do is have the submit button in front of the text field and when the user clicks on submit we're gonna send the phone number to the reloadly platform and get the operator for it once we have the operator we're gonna show some information about that operator right in front of that button so let's get the structure in ready for that there we go so our structure is ready obviously we're gonna hide this until we have the operator there we go so now we have that working we also need to get the country from the user so let's create a simple select for that So here we want to show a complete list of all the countries. So let's head to the countries page. So instead of having this code here, let's move it to a different file. And include that here. So we'll just copy these two endpoints and include these in the index file. So after the token, we also have the countries now. So let's just create a loop and add the countries here. So if we go back to the documentation, we need the phone number and the country's ISO. So let's just add those here. Okay, so let's give our app a refresh and see if everything is working. Great, so now we have a complete list of all the countries. Now all we need to do is send the country ISO and phone number to the Reloadly platform to get the operator details. So let's start with doing just that. I'm going to create a copy of the get balance endpoint, call it get operator by phone. We'll simply switch the endpoint. Now we need to pass in the phone number and the ISO. So let's get those in get parameter. Simply paste these there. And instead of saving the response in a variable, we'll simply print that. Now here, when the form submits, we'll simply create an AJAX call to the get operator by phone endpoint and show the result in the detail box. So let's give our form an ID. Now let's get the selected country and the phone number. Let's create a simple AJAX call. We'll simply pass in the variables in get. And in response, basically we're getting the operator. Let's simply do a console log to make sure everything is working fine. Refresh, open up console, and let's just try a sample number need to stop it from redirecting so let's prevent the default behavior of the phone full authentication is required let me just check okay so we didn't provide the token to this let's just include the token file get token and try this again 
great so we have the full object in console now what we need to do is unhide the display box so get the display box and toggle class d none so let's give the image also an id in operator image we'll get the operator image so operator image is logo urls the first object we get the id and the name so we also have to parse the json as we're getting the json response so let's try that now there we have it so we have successfully sent the country iso and the phone number to the reloadly platform and get in the operator for that see how simple it was to get started with the basics reloadly platform makes it a simple task to get started with the ease of use api we are easily able to extend our application in the video to add operators to it join us in the next video where we talk about adding funds to your account make sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a like we would love to hear from you guys in the comment section below we are working on multiple series coming ahead and would love to get your guys opinion on what to do next see you in the next one